Side Room Games has a trio of nine card solitaire games, Orchard, Grove, and Forage. Today, we are looking at Forage. All right, we are set up for Forage. We have our supply of dice here set to ones because hopefully that's how I'm going to place them. Hopefully I'm not going to place them with the mouse side up. I have Edward Mouse there. We had a deck of nine. I drew two, which leaves seven. We have nine set aside. You are able to play with a recipe variant for end of game scoring. This one I am not going to. I'm just going to do the basic game. How the game's going to work is I am going to play a card from my hand and I'm going to draw a card. When you play cards from your hand, if you overlap like items such as this, you are going to place a die with the one on top of it. If it previously had dice, previously had dice and you cover it, you're just going to rotate them up to three, to six, to 10, and then to 15. If you overlap areas that do not match, so for instance, say I went like this, this one matches, so I'd put a one, this does not, so I would instead place a mouse like so, that's going to be negative two points at the end, and I cannot cover that up again. If I run out of that colored dice, I can use Edward Mouse in its place. Otherwise, I can't play that card. The other use for this mouse is if, say, that mouse figure, that mouse die is there, I still want to play the card. I can. I have to. I can discard that and put Edward Mouse there, but I can no longer now overlap Edward Mouse. Hopefully that does not come into play and I don't have to show you that. So after I play all nine cards or until I legally can't place a card, if I legally can't place a card, I lose. Otherwise I will total up my score. I will score the value on the dice. I will minus one for every die that would be in a split area. And that could happen if, it's, if this was here and I put this over, the areas match, but that's there. I'll get minus one for every one of those, minus two for every mouse, and minus five if I use Edward Mouse. And I will then compare my score to this table at the end. Alrighty, that is the basics of it. I'm going to put down my first card, and then I'll join you once I am done foraging. We are going to, I think, start with the double mushroom. Alright, so there is my completed foraging. I did end up having to put a last mouse there, but I was going to get minus one there, so it's minus two, but that kicked that up, so that's three, so it kind of, I believe, was more of a nut. So, let's go one, two, five, eleven, nine, twelve, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-three. Just not quite good enough, so right near the bottom. I have way too many ones. I really need to try and focus and kind of build it up tighter to try and get higher numbers. But again, that could be also that the right cards were more in the other nine. Alrighty, but that was Forage. I have done Grove and Orchard. You can find the links to those down below. And while you're down below, you can go ahead and click like, subscribe, comment, share. 
even ring the bell for the channel. All of that stuff is appreciated by me. Alrighty, so until next time, for John.